Hello guys! So today I'm going to a Broadway play, so I thought I'd bring you along to get ready with me. The first thing that I do is I'm going to spray my hair with heat protectant because I'm going to go ahead and curl it for the night. I'm just going to brush out my hair so that way the product is evenly dispersed and all of my hair is protected from heat damage. Then I'm going to part my hair. I like to grab the hair above the eyebrow and just clip that up so that way my hair has a little more dimension once it's curled. My favorite curling iron is this Conair one and a half inch barrel and what I like to do is start at the middle of the hair shaft and slowly pull the barrel down the hair by lightly releasing the clamp a little bit. And then I'll hold this curl for about 10 to 15 seconds and as I just pointed out, I'm curling away from the face right now. So once I feel like heat has radiated through all of the hair on the outside of the barrel, I like to let the curl down and then quickly cuff it up and hold it until the curl has cooled. This will give you longer lasting curls throughout the night. So the second section of hair that I'm taking, and these are like one and a half inch sections, maybe one inch, one and a half inch. And this one I'm also gonna curl away. Do the same thing, work down the hair shaft so that way everything kind of gets the same amount of heat. And then once I feel like the curl has enough heat going throughout it, then I'll drop it down and cup it up and hold it again until it has cooled down. Now this next section of hair, the third section away from the face, I do a little something different. I like to curl it towards my face. And this keeps all of the curls from clumping together and from have you having like these two weird tundrals like on your head. I don't know. But I find that this also gives it a much more laid back and kind of flirty look. So that's why I'm doing that. Now, uh, after I drop that curl down and set it, I'm just gonna speed through most of the rest of my hair um, because I don't wanna bore you guys too much by just continuing to demo the same thing. So here's super speed and yeah, I'll let you guys just watch. with hairspray which I found out tasted really bad. on the top sections of my hair, I like to just curl everything away from my face. I also want to point out that when I get to my bangs, I kind of just play around just curling the bottom until I feel like it flows in a really pretty kind of effortless way. I only really curl the very bottom of my side bangs. Now that the hair is done, I'm going to bring you guys along with me to get my makeup. So the first thing to do is fix those under eye circles. So I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasement Concealer. And I'm just applying this underneath my eyes in a little triangular motion. This is gonna help highlight the face. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush or Expert Something Brush. And then I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to cover any blemishes or spots that I have on my face. To blend out my concealer, I'm using the Sigma Precision Round Brush and this just really gives you an airbrush finish and really helps to cover up those blemishes so that way you can't see them. And yeah, this is just my favorite way to do that. For foundation tonight, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the Cool W3, I believe. And I'm just buffing this in with that same brush that I was using before for my under eye concealer. This foundation gives you such glowing and radiant skin. I really love it. 
And yeah, I will be posting a video soon just about that. So to highlight under my eyes a little more, I'm using the last of my Dream When We Touch Maybelline Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Ivory, I believe. And again, just highlighting kind of in a triangular-like shape underneath my eyes, down my chin, down my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead a little bit. And obviously I'm blending it out with that same foundation brush. With my Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Brunette, or Dark Brown, I am going to fill in my eyebrows because no makeup look is complete without perfect brows. Face. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara to just set my brows. This is a really good brow setting gel, uh, even though it's mascara, but you guys get the point. As always, I'm priming my eyes with the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Just applying a little bit of this and then rubbing it in with my ring finger. You and I had everything. The Naked palette is where I'm using all of my eyeshadows tonight, and the first color that I'm picking up is Sidecar, which is this really beautiful shimmery kind of taupe color, and it looks a little more brown on camera, but I'm just applying this all over the lid, uh, and this is just going to give a really nice kind of smoky look. I'm also dragging a little bit extra to my lower lash line just to keep this look balanced. And then I'm pulling Buck on a crease brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the outer third. I'm not doing too heavy of a look, this is just a really simple kind of brown eye look. Nothing to it, just really applying this to the outer corner. And I'm just going to keep smoking this out until I feel like it's well blended. And I'll just keep packing on the color until I feel like it gets the effect that I want. And I'm sorry that my camera is a little out of focus here. I realize that in editing, but I can't do anything about it now, I'm really sorry. To highlight my inner tear duct and my brow bone, I'm pulling a little bit of Virgin, which is a nice shimmery, whitish pink tone from the palette Your as well. As Tonight I'm lining my eyes with the Stila Sale Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Surprise, surprise. But I am actually only doing a thin line. Normally I do a little bit of a heavier eyeliner look, but I've really been liking the simple line um, recently. So that's just what I'm going for. Your heart is glowing And I'm crashing into you Oh baby, kiss me Before they turn the lights out Before they turn the lights out Baby, love me lights out In the darkest night hour Again, to keep this look balanced, I'm applying some scandalized waterproof eyeliner in black to my lower lash line just on the outer third and what I'm going to do to make this not as harsh is take an eyeliner brush and buff and just kind of blend out that line. This will make the look a little more wearable and a little more smoky looking than just a harsh black line which I really don't like in eyeliner. So next I'm going to move back to my face makeup and apply the Stila All Over Shimmer Liquid Luminizer in the shade 1 on a foundation brush and just apply this to the tops of my cheeks. This gives you really glowing skin. Again, I'm doing a tutorial on this separately that will be up probably in about a week. But this has been something that I really loved since trying out this night. Then to contour, I'm using the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer, which has been a recent favorite of mine. Taking the brush that comes with the bronzer, I'm just going to really carve out my cheekbones just by doing a straight line, and I'm going to go in and blend this later. But I am going to contour my cheekbones, then I'm also going to run some of this onto my temples, down the sides of my nose, on my chin, and on my neck. This was obviously an event night, so my makeup was a little bit heavier. Baby, let me light out. You can turn my lights out. I 
love you like EXO You love me like EXO You kill me boy EXO You love me like EXO All that I see, give me everything For blush, I'm taking my Stila Custom Color Blush in Self Adjusting Pink and just applying this to the apples of my cheeks And next, I'm going in with my Dior Amber Diamond Highlighter Powder and just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones to really make my cheeks stand out in any photos that I take. I'm going to curl my lashes now, of course, to prep them for mascara. And I'm using my favorite mascara as of late, which is the Lash Out Butterfly Waterproof Mascara from L'Oreal. And this stuff makes my lashes look so amazing, I can't even tell you guys. For lipstick tonight, I'm using the Maybelline Color Whispers in the shade One Size Fits Pearl number 55. And on top of that, I'm layering my favorite lip gloss from Revlon. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip, uh, lip Gloss in the color Pink Pop. So that is it for my makeup. Late, as always, I forgot to film a full outfit for you guys, so here is what I wore. This romper is from Urban Outfitters, and it was in my spring outfits video. And then my flats are Sam Edelman black ballet flats, and my purse is by Ralph Lauren, and it's just a little side purse. And then I went to the play The Cripple of Inishman, and there is my signed playbill by Daniel Radcliffe, because he is the love of my life. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.